Hey guys, Michael J. Crawford here, and welcome to part 12 of our Zero Hour Airplane Side-by-Side -side Comparison. So we fast forward a little bit in both films where now the entire flight crew is incapacitated and the planes are on autopilot. Now the way they got here is a little bit different on each one. The basic plot points are the same, of course but the sequence of events was a little bit different. We cut to ground control and back to the plane in a different order, but the long and short of it is the pilots of both planes radio to ground control, uh, expressing that they were in deep trouble. And at the same time, the planes were, uh, the pilots themselves became incapacitated. In the case of Zero Hour, the pilot himself activated the automatic pilot uh, as he was collapsing, and of course, if you've seen Airplane, you know about the automatic pilot there. So, after that, now the doctor has to talk to the stewardess and try to figure out what can they do to save the lives of the remaining passengers on this doomed flight. Well, Janet, Man, you're a member of this crew, can you face some unpleasant facts? facts? No. All right. Unless, Unless I, I get, get all these people to hospital, hospital quickly, quickly, I can't, I can't even, even be sure, sure of saving, saving their lives. lives. Now, is there anyone on board who can land this plane? Well... No, no one I know of. I don't understand. What is it? Well, something toxic in that food tonight. Some kind of bacteria poison. How did it get there? Well, there are hundreds of ways. That's not important. Now, what is important, these people need hospital facilities. Stimulants, intravenous treatment for shock. Oh, but the pilots! How are we going to land? Is there anybody else on board who can land this plane? There's no one on board from the airline. I don't know about anybody else. How many passengers are there? 38. I, I think you ought to know what our chances are. are. The, the life of everybody on board depends on just one, one thing. thing. Finding, Finding someone, someone back there not only can fly, fly this plane, plane but, but who didn't, didn't have fish for dinner. You know, I was just thinking, um, since I'm going in for this procedure, now granted, it's just a spinal tap, it's not like major surgery or anything, but let's say something horrible happens and I end up dying in the procedure. That means that by the time you see this video, I'm already dead, so you're seeing me from beyond. Okay, that's stupid, but just weird to think about, not that it's going to happen, I hope. 